make a big huge difference to your daily life your daily life will go on according to what you do and social media does not have a big impact uh, it depends on how you use uh, social media like how much time you dedicate towards using social media because reports have shown that the more you use social media the more sadder you get and that has something to do with screen time and uh social media in general but that's not the question here the question here pertains to data and data here uh, wouldn't uh, affect your daily life at all considering it's just with a company and they're just trying to give you a uh, third party advertisements or something of that sort so it won't uh, affect your daily life at all so don't worry about it again the question that uh, when it pertains to how much social media uh, how much time you spent on so- uh, using social media that however can uh, like affect your life lifestyle to an extent now i, I can give an example i have a teacher Uh, she uses social media for one hour a day like whether it be whatsapp or anything and it's very much visible how happy of a person she is and so basically we all know for a fact that too much of anything will cause the downfall of like anything or everything so make sure that you do not have uh, uh social media for a long period of time and there's a limit to process of gathering information and before we move into that uh, there are two things that actually overlap with what the other speakers have said starting with target audience now target or targeting your audience basically just involves profiling you just have to create a profile of who you think you're adhering to who do you think your target audience is now this involves i don't know knowing what their languages what knowing what their uh, interests are knowing how they use their social media you know this helps you to cater to the kind of uh, kind of material that they are you know more uh, enthralled to more attracted to and will help you tailor your message and your content uh, respectively uh, just a bit basically elaborate description of that is exploring your audience and messaging messaging is basically to put it in very simple term in layman's terms it would be uh, just what is it about what you write what is it about that what is it about your pieces what is it about whatever it is that you're writing draws you to the reader something special something unique or just maybe the way in which you're writing so it's very important to understand why because as you write a lot of pieces it it can it happens to a lot of people that you get lost in your own pieces and you know if to keep reinventing yourself keep refreshing for that it's very important to know who you are adhering to first my coming strategy will be following a trend a following a trend is quite uh you know in in order to follow follow a trend you need to keep certain things in mind you need to know what is happening around you need to know what what the new things are in in the Uh, in the social media marketing so for example if you go if you go on any of the hashtags or if you go on twitter or if you go on uh, instagram explore page you can see what the people are doing so accordingly you have to manage and adapt what what they are doing to your need because what is fresh what is happening what is happening currently will be what is required you, you have to put out content that people like to see instead of what you know want to put so yeah so you have to follow that trend you have to follow how how things are happening how how the hashtags are used or how uh, how how influencers are using their uh, how you influencers are using reels for example on instagram or how influencers are using facebook live or how the live stream is done so you have to check that you have to have a bit of research you have to have uh, that sort of that sort of mindset and you have to constantly keep on updating yourself i think that's something that uh, many of us fail to do once we know what a trend is we forget to update ourselves that's yeah this is probably the easiest part of design that is the most prominent part of design that everyone can think of when i mentioning graphic design or art you know you're thinking of colors you're thinking of paint uh, that, like i said um everything has some significance right everything on a page is meant to have some purpose it holds something so let me just give you an example and we'll do a bit of an experiment so you can see here this text it says i am sorry it's uh, it's white text it's a bit of a serious font this is same on a viewers but in general it's a bit of a serious or professional font with a black background next slide here we have i'm sorry a bit of a different uh, you know it's written differently but still ultimately the same text it's red on a light gray or white background if i asked you to complete these sentences you would you know instinctively what i think of when i read this is okay so i am sorry maybe it could be for your loss or i am sorry and you know in, in some sort of remorseful way simply because of the color 
while this it's, it's a bit more red so it's you know i would relate it to something related to passion like maybe some you know some kid knocked over a glass or he, you know he kicked the football into a window and he's apologizing that's what this reminds me of and this is the color psychology i mentioned it briefly when i was speaking about color now the question is how do we market ourselves what to do when you want to start to think like a marketer now i'll teach you what is a mindset of a marketer the very first thing that a marketer tries to achieve is set their goals or set what they want to achieve now understanding the purpose why you are want to promote yourself and why you have to do this is very important if not uh, let's take a very easy example of our education now education in for me it is scoring good marks in school that's why i usually study uh and we should all have a purpose to strive otherwise when we go when we doing uh, facing hurdles in our uh, circle, uh, in our way we will not be clear why we are doing it and we'll be depressed or not have the aim to finish our goal so the first thing you have to do is set your goals be clear of what you want to achieve basically you you should know what a frame is right a vi- a, a video is essentially a bunch of pictures right and each picture is called a frame and the frame rate is the number of number of pictures that you see in one second right uh, now the higher the frame rate the more smooth the, your video will be so as you can see here the 15 15 fps one fps means frames per second a uh, 15 fps one is like really choppy we really don't want that the 120 fps one is really smooth but uh, we don't need that buttery smooth uh, video for most things uh, that we do 60 60 frames per second is is pretty nice it's really smooth and it doesn't uh, take up that much file size as well but uh, 60 frames per second is usually kept for things like um, like uh, game streams or game recordings and things like that so the m- most of the things that we do uh, and record are usually recorded in 30 fps right and um, i think most most cinema frame rates are uh, 24 fps uh th- that actually dates back to when the pr- older projectors could display only 24 frames in one second but they've stuck with that and uh, n- nowadays you may see movies coming out with like higher frame rates but these th- these three terms we'll get uh, get to know the next few terms in uh, in premiere it's- i'm going to uh, i'm going to first talk about voice and tone um look at the picture i've displayed it's it's a tower he's building uh, the mjolnir and uh, is it called the is this the this is the one no it's not the first one yeah i assume uh the okay so he's holding he's holding the mjolnir and then he's uh, he's holding it up he's uh, wielding lightning and now this one picture uh, the other uh, person who put a lot of thought behind this picture there's a sense of tone and there's a sense of voice there's a sense of authority that we're portraying the character in there's a sense of uh personality that we're giving him with the hammer and then the color of the sky and where he's standing in the lighting everything uh everything gives a certain sense of voice and a sense of tone to the picture but this is all plain and simple when you're talking about a picture it's 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 simple it's all laid out in front of you it's visual you can see it but how does it like you know matter in terms of writing so writing um the voice and tone are the two basic elements of any writing style it's like the building block of your writing style it's voice and tone i'm not going to explain in detail what voice or tone is but i'm going to give you a brief now your voice is basically the type of view you're providing or your point of view it's the pov you're approaching for this very piece that you're writing that's your point of view it can be vaguely described as the personality you give to your writing okay it's your voice is the personality to your writing now or the point of view that you're giving now for satyajit ray it was a common man's point of view yeah 
it was a very simple point of view for the alchemist whose point of view are we watching the story from we are watching it from third person we are not looking at it from the protagonist we are looking at it from third person we have an actual narrator letting us know that you know all of these stuff are happening and that's the personality of the story it's that we are someone watching in some i've read this very nice um very nice uh, story where the the narrator is narrating to us or we are not watching from the point of view of the character we are watching from the point of view of the location what you're trying to say is that you just need to be careful and you just need to think smart when you're using these softwares that that's a given for like any platform or any any social media in general you have to be careful when you're using it but then when you do harness the power of these platforms you're going to get some really good results but of course if you don't use it the right way you're going to run to the wrong results you're going to run to undesired results and you're going to find the most irrelevant stuff on your search pages of course you got to be careful when using it but if you are you're safe why is it relevant um i know i've i've mentioned quite a couple of things but i, I mean the way that i look at it social media is like your digital business card right so in olden days business cards you would pull that out that's how we networked you actually picked up the phone to like call somebody you had to go somewhere physically now social media is where you are at for example um hanan just said that my uh, digital studio is called upload for you guys all of you to know if i'm legitimate or not the first thing you will do is google upload digital and see what's going on right um also don't google it yet because our website is not live yet but but by next week you can google it um anyway yeah so the first thing that you do when you hear about anything is you google it and that's it so the second you google it you that brand has 5 seconds to make an impact on you that brand has to have a legit website it has to have its social medias right there um if it has a twitter thing it has to have a presence you have to know who they are engaging with who the hashtags are with etc etc like we consume so much media now that there is no time for a brand to really build a story brands just have to be appealing in 5 seconds um it there's an entire ethical dilemma to this that we can discuss towards the end but that's how quick it is right so social media marketing very important social media can of course have multiple effects i'm not saying it's the best thing for the generation but if you are a brand or if you want to do something in like anything um you need to have a social media uh, platform and relevance there right um so yeah just some statistics for you guys 75% users say and like this is all the 4 billion people that are on any kind of social media say that ads and influencers actually drive their buying habits now so for example if you keep seeing an ad eventually you're just going to give in it's like that nagging thing that our parents do right eventually after like a couple of times you're just going to wash the dishes so it's the exact same way when you are scrolling through your phone and you see the same like the ad for a brand like 10 times in different ways you don't even realize it but some consciously it's on your checklist now like you want to buy that so you will officially buy that at some point and interesting statistics from the time that you see an ad a turnaround time for like most popular brands is about 2 weeks so from the time that i start seeing an ad for it on on my social media i'll probably end up buying it in 2 weeks um so yeah the whole social media the reason it works is the convenience obviously and also like when you're on instagram and you see your post you go to shop now it's literally right there you have to put in your address you click on the comments on the post you'll see reviews from actual users you'll click on the um you know on the account and you'll see like yeah this is a legitimate business and and you're sold like that's 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 exactly like a 5 to 10 second process and you're entirely sold and another really big part of social media marketing is influencer marketing now i'm sure you guys are aware of social media influencers as much as you know love it or hate it they have a platform and they have a lot of followers and um it's it's a living like you can actually make money off this right um an influencer based on their followers can earn anywhere between like 5000 dirhams to 20000 dirhams in a, a month uh, depending on who they do partnerships with etc etc um so yeah if any of you are looking for a career please i think influencer marketing is where everyone should be at um anyway jokes aside influencer marketing is huge like every brand knows that they will not make it without an influencer on board for 30 years ago they needed a celebrity they needed an amitabh bachchan or a shahrukh khan to be their brand ambassador 
now you just need an influencer that has 100k followers so as we have started reaching more screens the relevance of popularity has changed the relevance of you know partnership has changed a lot and so now influencer marketing is a very very big part of it um the only i mean so just just to point out a little bit of how social media marketing can also be very very dangerous is like we brands are actively manipulating um sorry brands are actively manipulating consumers right like they are i mean my job used to essentially be to sell to a business that yes please work with our agency we can do this for you and then the other part of the job is to manipulate a consumer to want to give us their money as well um you can argue that that's what marketing is but on social media marketing you really do take it to another level so it is it is sometimes there is an ethical debate about how relevant or not relevant social media marketing should be allowed to be covering the topic designing tools portfolio now this is not the best of topic to be covered for a designer but it is something that essential that everyone needs to know a designer needs to know now if you are talking about designing tools there are tons of tools that are available for free and paid now we are aware with most of them some free tools that we excel in are first of all microsoft word so even though microsoft word is a document editor we use it to make posters flyers brochures and what not and next we have powerpoint this is a microsoft software that is used for presentations but now there is a change it is not only used for presentation works it has also been used for making magazine covers it is very as it is very useful and the templates that are provided by microsoft itself has an amazing look and feel to it so that is the main reason why it has moved away a bit from presentation and moved into magazine making then the third tool is the most powerful tool i have ever seen that is canva now i have seen even professional companies use this simple tool to make effective design and the user interface is so simple that the first day you get in or log in to canva you are the expert of the entire interface moving to the more advanced next here are some elements of writing professional writing especially on media social media now if you can look at the first one there must be a purpose for writing why are you even coming on social media what is your aim what is your goal there has to be a purpose is it just that attention that you require or is there something that you want to convey is it something that you want to persuade people about all right or is there something that you are desperately intending to convey so here when we are talking about purpose remember there are three important purposes one is to inform i want to inform somebody about something that's happening around or i want to persuade somebody or the audience to believe what i am trying to convey and the most important thing is building a trust and relationship now this is what happens in social media you know you have a lot of following you have people a lot a, pe- a lot of people following you on instagram and you know so many other um, platforms where this relationship builds up now the most important thing is when you are building when you have a purpose why you are on social media how are you to communicate with people around so social media most especially instagram snapchat twitter all these things are very very informal ways of writing yet yet you must maintain the tone and the tone that is required to maintain is you must be extremely professional in the way you write you must be respectful not emotional being respectful and not emotional and you must remain formal in spite of saying that you know there are various uh, platforms that are informal in the way they communicate with one another yet you must maintain that decorum all right and the third most important thing is your audience 
your audience with whom you are connecting it could be your colleagues it could be your employers your employees or your clients your students your whoever you are con- communicating with they become your audience and what is very important boys is there is this beautiful link between purpose and audience if you know who you are targeting who is your target audience then automatically your purpose of communication will also narrow down to a particular thing now when i speak about audience three main purposes of design one is the function uh, is the design that i do does it bring about uh, it does is there a functionality to it does it communicate what i what i am told to communicate or what the product is supposed to be intended to communicate and the last aspect of it is the aesthetics the look the feel and we just talked about the feel good uh, the the color the 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 visual the the appeal in terms of if it's a tv ad uh, the 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 music the 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 talk uh, if there is a if there is a conversation so so all these aspects are are uh, uh, important essentials uh, of uh, for design and uh, what are the six basic elements next is size size is very important like how uh, mr biju said hierarchy that is what is size you need to understand what is important which one needs more highlight so if i'm going to break the layout into three pieces i have an image i have an I have a headline and i have a body copy body copy is basically subtext basically uh, a little bit of content that is going to go on a poster i cannot put my body content on top my headline below and visual in between that doesn't make a good layout so size in terms of the headline will be bold and big on top then you have the visual or the visual on top of the visual you have the have the uh, the big font and then below that you have the have the body content now shape uh, if the audience or if the uh, community recommend something to you and they want to do it by a Uh, email or suggestion box. They just comment it below your pictures, below your tweets, below your videos. They do it right there. And then you have to even if you. Uh, so what companies mistake do is they read all the comments and they work on that, but they never really reply to those. So the consumer never knows that have they seen it or have they not? Have they are they working on it? So what I highly encourage doing is whenever uh, you have the time or whenever. you have your own social media account go through the comments as much as possible listen to what the people are saying and reply replying is the most important part of this if you are not replying and just working on it on your own the consumers might not know that what is going on all right next one is uh, tagging and hashtags so obviously we know the most popular way to get around online is using hashtags now again using hashtag is different from person to person from post to post from event to event and in that the next point is very much important identify your audience now what do you mean by identify your audience those are wonderful answers and when it comes to social media different platforms have different uses so all of the answers you you gave some platforms are better in some of them and some are not so just to get a bit more specific with that um, i'm going to discuss a couple of them so for example instagram is like the hot spot for socializing if if i want to say it that way because there's a lot of pictures videos and um, the whole dm feature of it it's well compared to places like twitter at least and facebook which is now dying at least among the gen z people instagram is great for making friends but off late as people are being more socially active it's also becoming a great place for spreading infographics for spreading awareness and mobilizing causes um running pages for organizations school and university clubs so if i want to talk about its relevance with content with content creation i'd say it's not too less words not too many words but like a medium amount but the design really matters and now it has deals as well so a mini tiktok with an instagram is also a thing but all in all instagram is kind of an 
all rounder app almost all the does miss out certain things which i'll get to in a while so 